ready for the start. They're off in the Preakness. Lonnie was away slowly again. Nyquist had a good beginning, and Uncle Lino goes with him, and so does Awesome Speed. So they surround Nyquist early on. Collected is going up and is close up to the pace, running in fourth early on. Then Lauban, followed by Abiding Star, who's sitting behind the front runners today. And then it's Stradivari. Exaggerator is a good 13 lengths off of Nyquist, who's head and head up front, with Uncle Lino going into that turn. Then Fellowship, and at the back of the field are Cherry Wine and Lauban. The pace is very, very fast, a 22 and one opening quarter mile, so Nyquist is forced to work early here. He's got Lau Ban on his inside, and Awesome Speed is running in third just behind the leaders. Then collected, followed by Stradivari toward the inside, who's about four lengths off the lead. Lau Ban is next. Now Exaggerator is down on the inside. Ken DeSormo has him about six lengths off the lead, and Nyquist is up front. His nemesis is five lengths ahead of him as Exaggerator makes steady progress on the rail. Up front, it is Uncle Lino, who continues to cling to Nyquist. Nyquist with a head in front, and on their outside, Awesome Speed. And there's Exaggerator. He's so much closer today after a 46 and two half mile, and they move for the far turn. Uncle Lino has been pressuring Nyquist the whole way. Awesome Speed is third, collected fourth, Stradivari, and Exaggerator is right on the rail. And he's two lengths off the lead, and Uncle Lino continues to battle Nyquist on the far turn. Exaggerator and Stradivari are both in contention. And now Mario Gutierrez is asking Nyquist for his run, and they're into the stretch, and it's Nyquist in front. His adversary, Exaggerator, got a jump on him, and he's gone by to take the lead as they come to the gate pole. It is Exaggerator in front. Now, Nyquist switches back to the outside. Exaggerator down to the 16th pole. The gutty Nyquist is coming at him in second, and then Stradivari followed by Cherry Wine, but Exaggerator has turned the tables. He has won the break the stakes. It was very close for a second. Nyquist and Cherry Wine were right together. And then it was loud on the outside. Lonnie followed by Stradivari. And the final time was 1 minute 58.31 seconds. It was Exaggerator's day today. Exaggerator paying 7.20. Cherry Wine just got up for second in front of Nyquist to finish his in third place. The exact of 88.40. The trifecta for $1.7310. Kit DeSormo alluded to Nyquist being floated a little wide. So not only did Mario Gutierrez allow Nyquist to be involved in a pace that was way too fast, but Uncle Lino takes him out to about the four or five path while Exaggerator is much closer to the rail saving ground. Yes, Mario Gutierrez is maybe keeping him off uh, off the rail to keep him settled, but he is losing a tremendous amount of ground. Keith to, uh, Kent DeSormo, now he's angled out, but for most of the second turn, he was on the rail saving ground. Now he angles out. He might have lost a half a length to a nap, but overall, he saved more ground, much more ground than Nyquist did. I don't know if it made the difference, but it certainly helped. And Nyquist suffering his first career defeat in his ninth start, finishing third as Cherry Wine nipped him at the wire for second. But Exaggerator, the emphatic winner. Exaggerator, Cherry Wine, Nyquist, Stradivari, then Lanny, the Japanese trained horse. Uncle Lino actually walked into a van afterwards because his jockey Fernando Perez thought he wasn't quite right, but he was able to walk into the horse van, so no problem. Fellowship Austin Speed collected an abiding star.